breaking news. What Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu told Nigerians about the source of his wealth has rather sparked up another set of reactions from Nigerians. Yes, Tinubu finally scrub and you know succumb to Nigerians' demand explanations with regards to his source of wealth. Yeah, Tinubu said he has two petrol uh, filling station, okay, in 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 the UK. He has two petrol station, and uh, you know that is the source of his wealth. So these are possibilities and things that are going on. I want you to hear it from the horse's mouth and see for yourself all the things that are happening. I want you to know exactly what is going on. Remember that we are all in this together. Let's mm -hmm. come. Let's make Nigeria a better place for every one of us. Let's let's do that which is absolutely right and necessary. Let's bring the nation to where she ought to be. You see, Tinubu finally succumb and explain his source of wealth. And then what she told us is the source. Of, what he told us is the source of wealth is rather sparking up another set of reactions. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Tinubu finally succumbed to Nigerians' demand for his source of wealth if they will vote for him. What he said has been causing more reactions. Bola Ahmed Tinubu has said that his political career is funded by money he made from the sales of two of his petrol filling stations. The former Lagos State Governor explained that he has two gas stations in London, which were run by his wife at the time. According to Tinubu, the funds realized from the sales of his gas station business were used to fund the activities of the function of the Fusion National Democratic Coalition. Following demands by many Nigerians across the globe for the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Bola Ahmed Tinobu, he opens up on his source of wealth. Tinobu, while speaking at a book launch by the National Association of Political Correspondents, NAPOC, in Abuja, said he had two gas stations in London, which has been what has been fueling a source of wealth. The book launch titled Nigerians Aborted Third Republic, June 12th, was unveiled by Olusegun. According to the former governor of Lagos State, his wife, Remy, was responsible for managing the station, while he later sold to, which he later sold to fund the diffused National Democratic Coalition when the party started. It says it is time for the people to arise and understand that he had filling station in London, which his wife was managing, and he sold the filling station to ensure that um, the party stood. Tinubu revealed the source of his wealth, says on the heels of speculations that has been going on around him, he wants to lay this to rest and ensure that Nigerians are confident of the fact that he's an honest businessman and should disregard every other source of matter and news that have been going on with regards to who he is and what he can do for Nigeria that is ready to serve the country he's given the opportunity and does not want this to be a distraction or anything that could possibly put him away from the opportunity of becoming Nigerian's president. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And Nigerians, you can see for yourself that um, all that we can see is revealing who and uh, why we should not, you know, relax and assume that all is, you know, falling in place as it should. The days where Nigerians should be rising up and ensuring that we do not allow the same people, you know, detect our future is now. These are the days where every one of us needs to rise to the occasion. Where every one of us needs to ensure that we are putting and we're putting in place things that needs to be done to, to change this nation. Honestly, for a long time as a nation, we have suffered needlessly in the hands of those who have given, you know, who have said they want to, you know, help Nigeria to become a better place. But really, sincerely speaking, is any of this really making sense? Are they really ready to bring about the change that we've been, you know, we've been envisaging? Could that really be his source of wealth? I mean, he has spoken. Could that be his source of wealth? Should we take him by his words? So these are the things happening. Okay, these are the things going on and why, you know, we all together with one accord must ensure that uh, we are standing on the position of truth 
and do not allow the same people over and over again to be determinant of what happened to us. For a long time, we have trusted these people and we can see that um, most of them have not lived up to their expectation. Most of them have been rather, will I call it unfortunate? Yes, rather very unfortunate. They have not really lived up to the expectation. They have not really given Nigerians the opportunity to see the change that, you know, they've been dreaming for and they want, you know. So Nigerians have been calling, you know, the bullying van, the whole bullying van story, asking Tinubu, what's the source of your wealth? We need to know. If you want us to vote for you, we need to know. We can't just go ahead and vote for you. If we don't know the source of your wealth, there are all kinds of rumors surrounding who you are, what you do. So should we just take it blindly and just walk away that um, that is it? We can't do that. We can't do that. We can't allow these things to continue. You know, for a long time, we have allowed you do this, do the, you, know, you know, lead us and tell us whatever you want to tell us. And he has finally come out to say, well, he had two filling stations in the in the UK. And if you know the filling stations in the UK, the amount the, to be sold in, in pounds, when you convert pounds to Naira, I said that was well, that's what he's using. So maybe it's true, we don't know. Maybe it's true, we don't know. We don't really we don't really know because I mean he has spoken, but again, is this true? Is this what we should depend upon? Should we trust his word? Should we take it the way he has said it, or there is more to this? There is more. Could there be more to it? Okay, because uh, we can we cannot uh, keep looking and just pretend that everything is going well. Can you see that uh, the days upon us are days where truth must become the order of the day? Let's get out of the current uh, oppression and uh, persistent oppression. You know, going on where people who have no hope are the ones calling leadership for us. Okay, we need, we need to begin to show that we as ourselves, we are ready for change. We need to begin to show that by the time we show that we ourselves, we are ready for change, then probably we can get it. Because when we are ready, then we can ensure that uh, we, we're doing what we possibly can to bring this cha change to reality. Other than that, some people will take advantage of us and, and put the nation, you know, in, 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 in a position that uh, it currently is right now. It is because we fail to pay heed, hence we are where we are. So if we want to want to make the change, then let's rise up. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Tinubu and our filling station when you get for UK and the money to the sponsor, which need they do. You believe them, leave us a comment. God bless, have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.